Hi everyone and welcome. Today's project is going to be toggle clamps. I saw these the other day on Izzy Swan's YouTube channel. I got in contact with him and he was happy to allow me to reproduce them here. I'm going to put some links in the description box below so you can go and have a look at some of the great projects that he's done. It's really worth having a look. So let's go and have a look at these clamps and see how to make them. Here's the toggle clamp. It works like so, you push it and it locks in place and that holds really well. These things here are just ideal for jigs for holding down material while you work on it. It's made from 12 millimeter or half inch plywood. It uses four six millimeter bolts, a piece of six millimeter threaded rod, a couple of washers, and a few screws. As usual, I've started by positioning my material on the table. I've uh, positioned my cutter and I'm going to be using a 3mm upcutting spiral bit. I'm going to start by drilling holes in the material and then cutting them out. Well that's taken 12 minutes to cut these parts out. I'm now going to remove them from the wood here. And I'm going to go and clean these up by just putting a, a round over on these edge, here, edges here at the router table. Now I'm going to be using 6mm bolts for this and I found that a 1564th drill bit is the best hole to drill, uh, best size to drill the holes for this here. It gives a really nice tight fit for these bolts. It's just a nice fit. So I'm just going to enlarge in these holes using the pilot holes drilled when the parts were made. Now there's one part here that I didn't drill and that's this one here. It's going to be the foot and we'll deal with that later. First I have here the base and it's going to take these two parts and if everything's cut correctly they should be a nice fit like so but what I need to do is I need to make sure that they're correctly spaced when I do this so I'm just going to push my bolt through and they are a nice tight fit because what's going to happen is over time they're going to loosen up so I want as tight a fit now as I can get. So that's going to go in there like so. And we'll just grab some glue. And we'll put it down into these slots. You know, you notice there's some holes here. These are because I'm going to drive some screws through from the back to hold it all together.
of all the parts on this design, this one here is the only one that's being pulled apart. All the other part pieces are basically going to be uh, pushed together. So they're going to be under tension, whereas these ones here are actually being pulled apart. You do want to do this here. You do want to get the bolt between them so that everything lines up for when it's uh, finally together. Otherwise, you'll find that uh, if your holes don't line up, you're going to have to re-drill them. So I'm going to turn this over and put some screws. Now I'm using three-quarter inch screws here. I seem to have run out of inch long ones. Inch would be my preference. And I'm just going to screw them in until they're flush. along the bottom like so. Well, that's going to hold my base together nicely and it's all aligned now so I can now remove this piece and this piece requires these here glued to the sides like so See tomorrow I'll be buying a new bottle of glue. Just get them aligned like so. and then I'll put a clamp on them. All right, we'll just put that aside. Next we have the handle. And this piece here goes in the center here. Right, so we'll put this aside to dry. And now we can start looking at the foot piece here. For this, I'm going to tap a six millimeter hole into it. And for that, I'm going to run a five millimeter drill through the center of it. Now grabbing a six millimeter uh, tap, usually used for uh, tapping steel, 
and I'm going to run that through the centre here. Just let it pull itself through quietly, like so. And that'll leave a nice thread in the centre there. I have here some 6mm threaded rod left over from a previous project and a 6mm fender washer and basically that is just going to screw into here but I don't want it to screw all the way through I just want it to screw close to the end there and then wind the nut down and tighten it up using a spanner like so and that will firmly hold the bottom bumper on. Ultimately, when I can find a suitable rubber, I'll glue a piece of rubber to the bottom there to give better grip when it's compressing or when it's uh, clamping down on material. Well, all I can do now is leave these parts to the glue to dry on these parts, and uh, we'll pick up on this once the glue's dry. Well, I've now allowed the glue to dry overnight. I've made a second set of clamps as well. And I'm now ready to drill the holes in this piece here for the feet to go through. I've measured in from the edge here 10 millimeters. And I've found the center point in this direction here. I'm now going to drill a 1564th hole through each of these here at the marked spots and I'm going to do that on the drill press now you'll see I've marked it on the underside of this piece and that's because this is going to rest on the drill press table and we're going to drill it through I think it's really important that you do drill these holes on a drill press uh, so you can get them nice and vertical All right, well now my holes are drilled I can start assembling so I'm going to take a base first and a bolt and just push it through and on the higher one of these two pieces I'm going to put through the front piece. Now these bolts are just a little bit long but unfortunately the next size down in my case 50 millimeters is um, too short so there we go Next, I need to add in this small coupling piece here. And it just goes through here. If you find it too tight, just wind it in with a, uh, an appropriate socket set piece don't be tempted to drill it out. If, if it's going to go through, I'd rather have the thing a bit tighter than, than too loose because uh, that'll introduce slop in it and I really don't want slop in my clamp here. I'm sure after uh, a bit of use it'll probably loosen up quite a bit on its own. There we go. Last but not least, the handle needs to go on. Half the trick here is just getting everything aligned so that uh, it just goes through. There we go. That's that one. And then the final piece is the foot. So you can see the foot I've made. I've got a big fender washer in there, just a nut. It was threaded into the wooden foot. 
Then I have another nut further up, a small washer. Goes through there. The another washer. And I've just lost the nut I want. There. And there we have it, our foot. Now that looks like it's actually tilting in a bit, but when it's actually under tension, this will come up quite a bit. There's a bit of flex in there. It will come up, and the foot will sit square. With the additional little bit of rubber on the bottom, it'll be even better. Now, one difference between mine and Izzy's one is Izzy actually has a bolt going through there, and there's nothing stopping anybody putting a bolt there. But what i found is this actually comes down, and it it stops there anyway it cannot go any further so I don't think it's needed but uh, if I'm wrong I can quickly drill a hole and add that in later. so one of the critical parts of this design is these two bolts when it's in the lock position must be higher than the center bolt here and as you can see it is that center bolt is about one eighth or three millimeters lower than these two outside bolts so that means the clamp will lock properly and no amount of force here will allow that to toggle back open. So there we have it, the completed toggle clamp. I'm really looking forward to putting this to use around the workshop. It's going to be really helpful. Thanks again to Izzy for designing and allowing me to reproduce this project here. It's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it. For those of you looking for plans, I'll put a link in the description box below where you'll find these printable plans as well as CAD drawings. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers!